out here. Justin, the easiest would be is to use obviously one of our one of our preferred matches or lighter with some with some grass and then some kindling. We've actually got all the makings of a fire here, right where we are now. Uh, let's see if I can get one going for us. All right, so what you want is you want some grass, preferably as dry as possible. Now the key to a good fire is literally in the preparation. Just making a clean patch there. I don't want any errant coals busy giving us a problem. So what you want is you want to lay out your grass first. That is going to be the driest pieces that, that, uh, that you use. The next is to collect kindling. Now kindling is sticks of a variety of different sizes. All right? You don't want sticks that are too thick. You don't want sticks that are too thin. You want sticks that are just right. Right, so we've got a few sticks. All right, let's take this over to my grass pile. And now you need a fire starter. Now fire starters can be anything from bits and pieces of dried cotton wool to birds nests of very good fire starters. You get wild cotton out here. It's also another very good fire starter. Elephant dung is quite a good fire starter. This is an old piece of elephant dung. And as you can see, just really just dried grass. And what we're looking for is a piece that is mostly grass and not just termite sand. This one's going to do quite well. And maybe this one. No. Alrighty, let's take this back to our campsite prep. And now you need something to make flame with. Now, obviously, the Bushmen have been using twirly sticks. They basically take a stick like this and they will drill a hole in it with their hands coming down, drilling, 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 drilling and drilling, drilling more. And it makes friction, a friction fire. But believe me, my hands are way too soft to make friction fires. You need palms like tar roads to get friction fires going. And I've never managed to correctly do it. What I quite like to do is use a magnesium fire stick. So I use a magnesium fire stick. To generate a spark, obviously because I want to show you today, it's not going to work. <laughs> uh, hang on. There we go. Now fire is all about patience, everybody. It's going to be a bit of patience with me today, <laughs> getting this going. All right, when all else fails, okay, so that's failed. I have another trick that I have up my sleeve, my little box of tricks here. And for the moment, I'm going to bypass the easy way by using some matches and go to something a little bit more, how do I say, alternative. These little cotton wool balls come packed very waterproof. And very compact. And make for the most fantastic fire starters that you can imagine. You just got to try and loosen them a bit. Get yourself out some fluff.
and then struck a spark use your grass and once your grass is burning use your sticks you want as many sticks to catch a light as you possibly can with the grass because if your sticks don't catch and your grass finishes your fire dies and you've got to start all over again basically Voila, we have fire. <laughs> and that is fire 101. Now we're going to have to put out this whole mess and pick up everything. And while we're doing that,